everybody, my name is Melissa Bender and this is my workout for the day. Today's workout is a full body fat burning routine, so this is going to tone and strengthen you everywhere while maximizing your fat burn. It's an interval workout, so I have my timer set for 30 seconds of cardio first and 50 seconds of max rep. So for my cardio burst, I'm going to do jump roping. You can also do high knees, running in place, okay? So I have the 30 second interval for jump roping starting first. And here we go, straight into it. Whatever you're doing, high knees or jump roping, just try and keep moving the whole time. And go fast enough that your heart rate goes up. Okay, surfer burpees next. So jump, down, up, switch. And keep your butt reaching backwards every time you jump. Jump rope. to lift and lunge to the right. So starting on the right side, back in, lift, butt reaches backwards, knees stay behind your toes when you lunge. And weight presses back into the heel. Breathing. Try and keep the back straight the whole time. Last three seconds. Okay. Jump or high knees. Remember, it's only 30 seconds, so push. We're going to be lunging on the left side next. Lunge, butt reaches back. Oops. <laughs> Lift, then lunge, butt reaches back. Back stays straight. Weight presses back into the heel as your butt reaches back. Less than 10 seconds left for this one. Okay. Jump or high knees.
we have tuck jump. So squat, knees lift and tap. Butt reaches back. jump. Lunge. Both knees make a 90 degree angle. Switch. Jumping in the air. seconds. High knees or jump rope. our cardio burst. So we're into the ab section of the workout. It gets you on strengthening the core now. The first segment is all about the lower body. Okay, leg hip lift. Core pulls in, shoulder blades reach, and whoop, <laughs> lift. Don't use momentum, just lift to the ceiling. If that hurts your neck or your back, hands can go under your butt, press. And again, that momentum's really important. You don't wanna crush your hands. You wanna gently lower yourself onto them. Shoulder blades stay up, core stays tight. Try and tap your toes to the ceiling. Press. Okay, cardio. Mountain 
jumper is next. So plank position, like when you do a mountain climber, we're gonna jump our feet. So jump, jump. Lift through the core. See how I pause for a second? You don't have to pause, but just keep that core tight and engaged. section then we're on to arms okay frog hopper plank position frog hop and up, out, come to plank in between. <laughs> position. We're going to push up, reach up, opposite side. You can actually separate your feet a little bit to make the rotation more balanced. Okay. 
Okay, next we have reverse forearm plank. So we get to place our forearms on the ground, elbows below shoulders, lift the hips, core tight, stay. <laughs> so keep this position. Try and keep the hips up, it gets hard. Keep breathing. Hold it, keep good form. Cardio. <clears throat> Last 15 seconds. Cage, press through it. Arm is in front of your chest. Press. Feel the back of your arms working. If you don't feel it in the back of your arms, adjust the placement of your hand. Just the last two exercises. Here we go. So jump rope, same thing on the other side, and we're done. Unless you're repeating the whole workout. Pushing through your whole palm, squeezing the back of the arm. Keep pushing, almost there. Okay guys, so that is my workout for today. 
that's one round. This is a modification of one of the workouts I teach in my boot camp class. We would repeat the whole routine again after a short break, about one or two minutes of rest and a little bit of water. So check out the breakdown on my blog. As always, all the information you need to do this workout at home is there for free, plus over 425 other free home workouts. So I hope to see you guys there. And this is day two of the challenge. So if you're in my 30 day challenge, congratulations for making it through another workout. And don't forget to log in, let me know how you did, benderfitness.com. Have a great night, guys.